Hello everyone, welcome back to MathMood. Today we have an interesting algebra problem. We need to find all integer solution of the equation. 1 over x plus 1 over y equal to 1 over 19. How can we solve this? Let's simplify this a little bit. Let's find our x times y. So what we will have? We will have our x times y in our denominator. Right here we will have y plus x. I write it as x plus y. So nothing change. And equal to 1 over 19. And take a look, this is a really good case to use a cross multiplying. So as a result, we'll have that our product x times y it will be equal to 19. And in parentheses, this x plus y. So just use cross multiplying. x, y equal to 19 times x plus y. So that, that given equation implied that this expression. So to have integer solution, at least one of x or y must be divisible by 19. And uh, since the equation is symmetric, we can assume that x equal to 19k. So x equal to 19k. For example, 19k. So this will be our substitution. x equal to 19k, where k is an integer. Where k is in an integer. So what we will have? Then we will have 19 put this k, 19k, right here. So what we'll have? 19k times y equal to 19 times 19k plus y. Just plug in this x right here to this, to this equation. So as you can see, we can cancel this 19. So we can divide by this 19. As a result, we will have that k times y will be equal to 19k plus y. Just dividing both sides by this 19. So what's we going, what's we going to do next? From the last equality we can see that 19k plus y must be divided by k. Since clearly 19k is divisible this y equal to km. So y equal to km. Equal to km, where m is an integer. So what we will have as a result? We will have that our ky from here equal to 19k plus y, and we plug in this y right here. So as a result, we will have k times this km times k times m equal to 19k plus km. And as you can see, we can divide it all of these sides by k. As a result, we will have that km equal to 19 plus m. And moreover, we can write it in another way. We can bring this m on the left. We will have km minus m and we factor out this m. And in parentheses, we'll have k minus 1 equal to 19. And this is our final equation. But take a look, we have a product. We have m times k minus 1 equal to 19. So we will have, as you can see, we will have many cases. How to solve it? So since m and k are both integers, there are only four possible combinations for which the above equation holds. So the first case, what we will have? We will have m equal to 19. So this number 19 and this k minus 1 need to be equal to 1. So k minus 1 equal to 1. And from here we will have m equal to 19 and k equal to 2. And moreover, if we plug in these cases to our substitutions, we will have that x equal to 38 and y equal to 38 as well. So we just put this m equal to 19 and k equal to 2. So multiplying this we will have our y and 19 times k times 2 it will be 38. So we have our first pairs of solution. But we will have our second case how to solve it. Our second case will be m equal to minus 19 of course and k minus 1 equal to minus 1. But take a look if we find k from here we will have k equal to 0. But k not to be, cannot be equal to 0, so this case has not any equation. So from here we will have that x equal to 0 and y equal to 0, but we reject this, reject this root. So our second case is not good for us. So let's go to our 
third case, our third case, it will be in the reverse way, this one and this 19. So what we'll have? So our third case, it will be when m equal to 1 and our k minus 1 equal to 19. As a result, we will have that our m equal to 1 as well and our k equal to 20. So right here we will have as well two cases. We will have, if we plug in this k right here, k times m, we will have that y equal to 20 and our m will be equal to, or our x will be equal to multiply 19 times 20, 380. So we have our third pairs of solution. And the first, the last one, we will have the last case that this m it will be minus 1 and our k minus 1 equal to minus 19. So the same but with the minus sign as right here. So what we will have? We will have from here as that m equal to minus 1 and our k equal to, if you add this, we'll have minus 18. So we'll have two more roots. We will have that our x equal to multiplying this 19 and 18, we will have minus 342 and y equal to minus 18 times minus 1, we will have on the other 18. So as you can see, we will have five possible solution x and y. So I write this solution right here. So our possible solution will be the first one, we will have 38, 38. So our first pairs of solution will be 38 and 38. First pairs of solution. The next one, we will have 380 and 20. 380 and 20. Let's go next. We will have in the reverse way, we will have 20 and 380. From here, we can take this minus 342, minus 342 and 18. And the last one in the reverse way, we will have minus, we will have 18 and minus 342. And this will be our five possible solution. One, two, three, four, five. This will be our answer. So if you have any question, if you have any suggestion, write your suggestion in the comment, write a question in the comment. It will be really interesting to read it. This, this question is a little bit complicated because we need to put two, two substitutions right here and find our four possible cases and from here five possible solutions. So we have five pairs of solution from this, from this answer. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.